my name is Jeff Shaw. Welcome to another episode of In the Studio here at Davis Media Access. Uh, this episode, I'm joined by Kyle Williams and Gunnar Lester. Kyle and Gunnar are longtime uh, media producers here at Davis Media Access. They've been producing a radio show called uh, Building Ideas and Solving Problems. They're going to be uh, moving the radio show into television and moving into the different medium here. We're going to talk to these guys a little bit today about uh, uh, as, uh, what's inside the minds of a producer, so to speak, and a little bit about uh, some of their motivation and, um, and um, give you a little preview of uh, maybe of, of, uh, of the show that's to come on television, although uh, 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 you know, the format will be a lot different, of course. So you got, thanks for coming in, you guys, first off. Uh, so yes, Kyle and Gunnar, um, you guys have been producing media for a while now. And I kind of wanted to spend some time just to t ask you guys a little bit first how you both met, and I know you've told me, but tell uh, people at home how you how you both how you guys met real quick here. Uh, well, let's get started well, with that. Uh, Tom, uh, a significant player at the Capital Athletic Club, knew I was pl wanted to play in a golf tournament down in Brentwood at a country club, and he I didn't have a partner to play with, and uh, he wanted to propose that I play with Kyle, but he asked me the question, "Do you care if you win?" Uh -huh. I said, well, I'm really not a good enough golfer to win. And uh -huh. I knew there'd be some scratch golfers playing there. So I said, no, I don't care if I win. I just want to participate. So, said, well, then I'm going to let you, I'm going to introduce you to Kyle. So Have you ever met him? And I said, no. So how many rounds was that? Eight, uh, 18. 18 rounds. Holes. So 18 four. holes. So 18 holes. Uh, you never met before. Never met him. And that ha how often does that happen when you play golf? Is it just you get paired with people? That just happens. He was almost late. He says, I'm never late. And, it's uh, random to answer your question, Jeff. Yeah. Yeah, and the reason he, Jim Tom asked about um, the winning or not is because that I'm not utterly competitive. Okay. So Tom wanted to make sure that Gunner wasn't all about winning. Yeah. So I'm competitive, too. But he, he's a lot more competitive than I am, as it turns out, but I am not. He's a good golfer. <laughs> so uh, so how, how, tell me how you decided to produce media. You know, how you, to become a producer, what, uh, how did you both decide to do that? Well, I think it, uh, I, I was just kind of copying Howard Cosell, uh -huh. the, the Monday Night Football. And uh, so we got uh, Mike Pasola, who was in construction. In, and was he also a golfer? Or uh, how you, do you know him? No. Knew him through construction? I knew him through here locally. Okay. Through Davis and friends and people and so forth. And uh, so, you know, Howard Cosell had... Howard Cosell was kind of the, the, the middleman, I don't know what you would call him. And then right. you had two guys on his left and right in Monday Night Football. So this is, the brainchild is yours, sort of. Correct. Okay, and, uh, um, and uh, Gunnar, you were willing to go along with this. It was his idea. He wanted to bring Kyle, and, or he wanted to bring Mike and myself together. I'm a construction man, a roofing yeah. man. Retired now. Retired somewhat. And, uh, and Mike is a pro builder, and we talk the same language, construction talk. It has its own tongue, like any profession does. Jargon. And uh, Kyle encouraged us to do it. Okay. And we were reticent and thought it wasn't going to happen. How right. would that happen? And he... Because uh, you hadn't done anything like it before. No. Uh -uh. And no. You, haven't, you hadn't done anything like it before. No, never. Anything. You call it media. Radio's media. Sure. I mean, these okay. days, everything's on the web, so we call it, you know, people call it content. It's not even, uh, these days, it's just producing content. And, uh, you know, whether everything's on the web, every format, you know, it's just called producing content. So as a, you know, that, and that's as ambiguous as it gets, right? That's like saying a, it's a thing, but people call it content. So, right. sure. Uh, so you hadn't done it before either. Uh -uh. Okay. And, well... So that's my next question: Is uh, is it is it? Did you do it because it was fun, or is there something sort of driving you to like a higher purpose? Because so we get people down here producing content, radio, TV, whatever, and some people are uh, it's for fun, some for uh, they want to learn new skills. Other people, it's a higher purpose or like a mission or a you know calling. And I'm kind of wondering uh, with you guys uh, how you saw it or how you see it now. Connor, what'd you do it for? I uh, I'm a man that thinks that. If you have something to say and it can be useful, it can have value. And I thought maybe it's an opportunity to have to produce some valuable data that could be useful out in the real world. So, and I thought it would be fun and maybe to some degree a little bit confronting or scary, but not very much confronting or scary. We seem to be naturally ham. 
So uh, you're saying it's a, com it's a combination, <laughs> right? Was that the same for you, Kyle? It's a combination of a, a little bit of fun, a little bit of the higher purpose that, uh, you know, of your own higher purpose. Gunner has his higher purposes. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, but also, you don't do things unless they're fun. A little well, bit. yeah, I wanted it to be fun. Yeah. Why? And at the same time, make a difference. And it, it, gets, it gets, I wanted to, uh, I don't mind being a chief or an Indian. And if you're an Indian, you want to make sure the chiefs are running, you, running things the right way. And I just wanted to do my part to let people know of, out there of how things could be. And, you know, plant some seeds of, you know, why are we doing these things this way when we could be doing them this way? So that, I mean, that sounds like a higher purpose to me than like or a, more of a mission. You know, you, you're, you're, uh, you're, you're doing all this effort for a reason that's, uh, that, uh, that speaks to you. It's not just goofing off and having fun. Right? Fair you, enough. You could say he has the heart of a teacher. He, yeah. he, he seems to teach. I mean, if you listen to him, he'll get to give you a, a, a useful information on specific areas that he's done a lot of research and knows quite a bit. And right. I found that when it comes to money and stocks and bonds, he's pretty astute. So uh, as far as producing media, do you, see, do you think media has a certain power over people? Like what, uh, you know, why, why media? Why, uh, using, why using the tools that, you know, the, the media tools that are there? Why, how do you, uh, do you think that that's a powerful uh, tool to reach people? Or like how, how, do you, how do you see media these days? It, the, I mean, the, that's a loaded question, sort the, of. But. The media has the audience, a huge audience. Uh -huh. And so there's that opportunity to reach or touch that huge audience, and it could be negative, it could be positive, it could be good, bad, but there's that opportunity to do that. And, uh, I mean, oh. we, I've grown up in a mass media environment, you know, but uh, a couple generations ago, you know, newspapers and radio, radio's been around a long time, uh, and even and before that, information was exchanged, you know, via even slower routes. And so we're living in a pretty hyper-mediated world. Um, do you guys see, uh, do you see problems with, uh, you know, the media system that we have now or that we, uh, that, that we... Uh, I think you're going to start to see it leaning more towards radio again a little bit. I mean, TV's always going to dominate, but I think media is going to... With this whole Ben Carson started it, saying uh -huh. that the media is whatever, and Trump's perpetuating it. The media is is going to have to, how do you say it? Wake up, change a little bit, but uh, guide their direction. What and, do you think causes that these days? What it, what causes some of the problems that uh, I don't, I don't know what Ben Carson said about it, but uh, you know, I mean, as far as the media, uh, he was just one of the first ones to say it. Yeah. The media is on the muscle now, and they're they're having a personal fight with Don Trump, the president, and he's declared that he'd fight, and they're fighting. And so the media is agenda is to the big portion of the media's agenda right now is to uh, uh, hit Trump and hit him hard. And the media is very powerful. It's like water on stone. They're so big, so and, powerful. And so, uh, how do you think that came to be? Like, how do how do you uh, suppose? What purpose does that serve the media? Like, how how uh, does the media work for its own self interest, or you know, how uh, does the first off? It's hard to define the media these days, but I guess we're talking about right. mainstream media, right? right? Mainstream media being uh, the large networks. Uh, the operate cable channels and whatnot. Well, their power just escalated. I mean, it got to the point where you watched, and I don't want to pick any per particular person, but Bob, we'll call him, would ask a question or and demand the answer on the media as if he was in charge. I mean, we went from Walter Cronkite uh -huh. to giving you the news to right. telling you how things are. Well, uh, it's interesting you bring up Walter, Walter Cronkite because uh, I just watched a uh, documentary about the tower um, in uh, Austin, and uh, this was a school shooting in the 19, 1966, and uh, and uh, he, he reported it, but he did, uh, you know, there's a lot of writing that went into it these days, back then, and it was, uh, he sort of presented the information, but they, it felt like uh, there was some creative pre presentation even then, too, I felt like. But, uh, so you, you see the, do you see your ability to, uh, you know, try to change things by using the media, or like how, uh, you know, how, how do you see the media here, like uh, community media? You know, how do you see that? Uh, 
helping in the larger uh, scheme of things? Is it just, you know, your voices out there competing against the, the mainstream media or what? Well, I think the uh, gunner, but I think the, the smaller guys are going to get a lot more attention. I mean, yeah. you, you're noticing when Trump goes to ask questions, right. he avoids the big boys now. Right. He's asking the smaller entities, what do you think? Yeah. You ask the question. Years ago, people believed that their doctor would be was more or less responsible for their health. And so they went to the doctor and had complete faith in the doctor and what the doctor said and did. And they had the same feeling about Walter Cronkite. He wouldn't he wouldn't spin the truth. He'd just right. say it like it was. Today, people have to take responsibility for their own health. Doctors won't really help them. People people know that. A majority of people know that they have to take responsibility for their own health and they also know that the media uh, isn't as quite as authentic as Walter Cronkite. Okay. And it Shadows of Liberty, the film that we saw, it kind of tells the secret on the right. fact that they're money-based, profit-based, rather than news-based. Sure. Um, all right, well, I think we're getting close to running out of time, and uh, this has been just a short introduction to you guys. Uh, I want to uh, invite people, if you're interested in listening to uh, Kyle and uh, Gunnar, building ideas and solving problems and uh, watching their show. They're going to be moving the show to uh, television here pretty soon. And you can uh, see more see that show on, uh, D on davismedia.org. You can also watch it on uh, cable channel 15, like all of the shows here at Davis Media Access. Uh, any uh, last uh, words for uh, people at home as far as, uh, as, far as uh, what you uh, hope to uh, accomplish on, the, on your show? <laughs> Well, the or radio... just the people should tune in to find out, I guess. Well, sure. That's a part of it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, We're going to find out with them. <laughs> it's going to creep along as we go. We never stop learning. Okay. And so education and or learning something is uh, valuable, I think. And so I, I'm of the belief that we never stop learning. So poss there's possibilities for us to find something out and share it with the, the others, and it may be worthwhile. Okay, well, tune in with uh, Building Ideas and uh, Solving Problems with Kyle and Gunner and learn along with them as, uh, as we uh, embark on the new journey here uh, for these guys on uh, television. Thanks for tuning in.